I'm a web developer. I don't go on camera like this. Sorry that it probably seems really awkward, but you know, that's what you're gonna get from web developers. I'm sure you guys understand who develop websites out there. This is not easy to be in front of the camera like this. Um, so please be gracious <laughs> in your comments. <laughs> Hey everyone, David Cruz here, webmaster at Butler Branding. Um, today we're gonna be going over my UX uh, strategy process for one of our clients, Save Mortgage Group. They are a mortgage company located in Madera. Um, trying to reach out into Fresno and grow just further in the Central Valley altogether. They came to us looking to, well, like I said, reach out in, more into the Central Valley. My part as a webmaster in the UX strategy process is to give direction to improve their um, website user experience. Currently, their website has a lot of links going out to their external platforms that they have to apply online. Um, it's not very straightforward and easy to find information. Although it is information heavy, it's not organized very well. So my part in the UX strategy is to go through, review their website, come up with a new site map, which is the pages of the website where people should go, set up the website to get people to do what we want to do. Like I said, currently they have a lot of links just linking out to external platforms that they have set up, which is not ideal when their real goal is to get people to call them, set up an appointment and come in and talk to a person. As I said, looking at their existing site, it's not that for lack of information, it's just the lack of structure and leading the client where we want them to go. With any website you build, you wanna have some sort of process direction that you want your clients to go. You don't just throw all your information up on pages and hope that it works. You know, there has to be some sort of thought process to get the client from reading some information, asking the questions, seeing what they wanna do, how you're gonna answer those questions. So my first step in the process is to review the strategy document that Sean created during his initial strategy session with the client. As you guys already know, strategy session is a few hours where we sit down with the client, get all the answers we need for all aspects of their brand, whether it's messaging, the website, marketing. We kind of ask the important questions so we as the team can build out the rest of the plan. As I said, I review the initial strategy document that gives me all the information I need to know to start on my uh, UX strategy. Based off of the UX strategy and the existing website, I'm able to come up with a new sitemap to better map out all the pages of the website um, and not just cause people to have information overload. Because currently you go to a page, it's just nothing but text, no, no clear direction. So once I've gone through the UX strategy that Sean put together, at that point, I'm able to go in and start developing the initial homepage wireframe. So once I've started the homepage wireframe, I'm still referring back to our strategy document because there's a ton of questions that the client wants answered and their clients want answered. Some of the examples are, what documents do I need to bring? What's the process? What programs do you offer? How do we schedule an appointment? These are things that Zabe is always gonna want their clients to do. They want their clients to be informed, bring all the information they need when they've scheduled their appointment. Using these questions in the UX strategy, I then implement different sections on the homepage to help guide the user to where they need to go. For example, how to schedule an appointment. We're gonna need a section in there that's gonna be a clear call to action to schedule an appointment. We want an area that's gonna show what's our process. Maybe it's not fully explained on the homepage, but we still wanna give the, the users a sense of what the process is gonna look like from start to finish with working with Dave Morgan. Once I've completed my wireframe, which is basically a bare bones sketch of what the homepage could look like. I then go into our design program, which currently we use Figma. It's really great. If you never heard of it, look into it if you're in the design industry. Figma is really good for mocking up website homepages such as this, and also creating the wireframe. Once I'm in Figma, I start pulling in elements from our, like I said, UX strategy, and I'm also pulling from our stylescape that was created by our graphic designer. This really gives me a good sense of direction for the overall design, meaning colors, fonts, layout of how this homepage should look. Once I've plugged in all the elements that I needed from our UX strategy, messaging, our stylescape into the homepage, I then go on to creating wireframes for all the additional pages on the website. This is important because we wanna give our clients a sense of what the rest of the site layout is gonna be without completely designing every page in Figma. 
What I mean by that is I go in and I basically just create a really bare bones boxes and text to kind of display where an image is gonna go, where some text is gonna go, where the call to action is gonna go. I don't go in to the point where we plug in all our images and we have to have the exact complete content. It's more just to give them a direction of the idea we have for all of the additional pages. Um, once we've completed the new sitemap, we have a home page design and we have all our additional page wireframes. We go through, do an internal review, making revisions if needed. Once we've had our internal review, we then schedule a meeting with the client to review with them. Um, from there, if we have any revisions we need to make, we can usually make those on the spot with the client. If not, we will implement them once we go to development, which is the next step after we get approval for our UX strategy. Now that we've completed the UX strategy, check out our next video on the process for Zave Morgan. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Make sure this content gets out to more people. And if you are a creative entrepreneur and you're looking to level up, maybe you feel stuck, learn from my mistakes. At agency.butlerbranding.com, we have a free webinar that talks about everything I've learned in scaling Butler Branding since we started in 2012. I'm talking about everything I've learned from brand positioning, marketing, sales, strategy, and project management. So learn to level up for free at agency.butlerbranding.com.